So summertime is all about get togethers and parties and having a good time. Today, I have four new tablescape ideas for you, whether you're doing a sit down dinner or a buffet, and I can't wait to show you. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm over 70 and I just say it because if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. I wanna thank my subscribers. All of you mean so much to me. I so appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and leave me such encouraging comments. It just really touches my heart. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of these summer videos with a different theme every month. And as always, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. So I have four tables to show you, and I just want to give you a quick description of each one. The first one is all about the ocean. It's under the water. It's in the sea, and it's all very rustic textured and neutral. I know a lot of us love those neutral tones with a lot of texture thrown in. And if you love coastal, you're gonna love that one. The next one, it's all about the harvest from our farms, the fruits, the vegetables, and the naughty roosters. You know, every time I do something that has food that they kind of like, they escape from their basket in the kitchen and go for it. So. You're gonna see one story, my naughty roosters. Also, I like to kind of celebrate, as we're celebrating Americana, the desert. So I like to include a kind of boho, deserty looking tablescape with succulents and color and a rustic touch. I think you're really gonna love that one. What is more Americana than Sunday dinner at Granny's house? And so I'm gonna do a, a really cute tablescape with all the Granny touches, the patchwork tablecloth, all of that. So stay tuned and remember, if you don't do sit down dinners, you can take my centerpieces and all my ideas and use them in a buffet or take my centerpiece and use it on a mantle, a coffee table. So without further ado, here's my tablescapes for July. I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my tablescapes for July. The first one has to do with being under the sea. It's all in neutral tones and textures. I started with this beautiful cloth. It reminds me of sand, like there had been, like the tides had created all these different designs in the sand. I put my um, seahorse and I had gotten him at home goods for $13. I leave the price tags on everything. <laughs> and I have these again, these candle holders that look like coral. And again, they were kind of turquoise and just paint things. If, if you know something's red and you don't like it, paint it whatever you want. I have my two chunky corals sand dollar and a sea urchin those are real the corals not and then i take those christmas clear ornaments from dollar tree and pop off the ends and use them as bubbles so i think this is so so pretty now how did i bring these over to the actual tablescape keeping it very neutral but still wanting to include a lot of texture i use these faux wood weathered chargers from Hobby Lobby I got for $1.99. These are th that set of beige, kind of chippy looking, old fashioned melamine plates, my linen napkin, and a little tortoise um, napkin ring, everyday ivory, faux ivory uh, silverware, and glassware. And it came out so pretty. All right, let's take a look at my next tablescape. So here's my next tablescape, and it's all about the farm, celebrating all the good food we get from our American farmers. And look who joined. All right. <laughs> now, little rooster, I understand why you got out of your basket, but daddy rooster, you know you're not supposed to do that. Ooh, should we have fried chicken for dinner? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. 
Anyway, you guys, when you have a little bit of these treats, you've got to go back in the kitchen again. All right, so my centerpiece, of course, is a little crate filled with Excelsior. I filled it with all my faux vegetables. I have pears, cauliflower, zucchini, eggplant, tomatoes, green uh, beans, some artichokes, and I just laid that on a bed of raffia. Remember, if you want that hay look, raffia works really well. And of course, these are my <laughs> naughty roosters. I got at Michael's years ago. Okay, anyway, I also have some faux lettuce. Okay, so I wanted to bring those colors over here, and this is my rooster plates from Hobby Lobby. I don't think they have them this year, but I use my woven mat. This goes for coastal. Anytime you want to add some texture, my black plates from Walmart, my little fabric, um, I think this is a French print, uh, in red, to bring, that just makes the, the roosters and the tomatoes pop. And then of course my rooster plate, which I, which I dearly love. And everyday flatware and glasses. All right, you guys, finish up and get back in your baskets. All right, now let's take a look at the next tablescape. Welcome to my next tablescape for July. You know I've been talking about the ocean, talking about our farms. Now let's talk about the desert. This is my kind of boho chic desert tablescape. So I got my inspiration for this one from this fabric from Hobby Lobby. To me, it looks kind of Southwestern, kind of Aztec looking, almost like tiles, but it's very worn. So on this cute Hobby Lobby bench, I have a terracotta colored plate and then a plate that I've also used in my place setting, which reminds me of a, um, a Southwestern tile or actually has the same colors as my tablecloth. I added my wooden beads, a little orange pot with a cactus, and then I put in all my succulents because I kind of, when I think of the desert and Southwest, I think of succulents, kind of a boho look. Now, how did I repeat that in the place setting? Let's take a look. All right, so right here I have my very textured woven rope placemat. I'm using it as a charger, kind of. And then I have this navy melamine plate that looks distressed. This terracotta plate is actually plastic, as is this melamine plate here. Now, this is a little tip. I really like the way that this just shows a tiny bit. It kind of frames out this salad plate here. And then a plain neutral napkin. And then because it's kind of boho, chic, kind of that type of a look, I put these little um, woven napkin rings and it's got this little tassel on it that ha brings out the blues. Everyday faux ivory flatware glasses. And we have a really cute boho desert southwest tablescape. All right, stay tuned for my next one. Welcome to my last tablescape for July, and it's all about Americana. And I can't think of anything more Americana than a quilt. This is supposed to be Sunday dinner at Grandma's house or down on the farm. <laughs> I got this adorable fabric from Hobby Lobby. It's got uh, printed patchwork on it. I thought it was so cute. And then I happened to come across these Walmart dishes. And look how that yellow goes almost perfectly with that. But that was my starting point. Now I grabbed my chicken and little chick from my kitchen, put a red and white chick uh, ribbon on her. I don't know if it's a rooster or a hen. We'll pretend like it's a chicken. <laughs> I have a couple eggs and then fresh baked bread for each place setting, real country butter. Now, how did I bring the centerpiece over to the place settings? I had fun with this one. I started with the Pioneer Woman. This is actually a braided uh, placemat. My Hobby Lobby red and white check chargers, my favorite chargers. I use them for Valentine's Day, 4th of July, Christmas, all the time. And then here's those Pioneer Woman plates. Now these are Melamine, but look at the possibilities. I mean, it goes perfectly with this 
uh, tablecloth, but I also have a tablecloth in this check, maybe for fall. And then I saw these yellow dishes and I just thought they were absolutely adorable. And of course I have some real butter over on that one. Everyday faux ivory, flatware and glassware. You can just almost smell Sunday dinner at grandma's house. All right, as always, I hope you love this series. I hope you got inspired and got lots of ideas and we'll set an Americana table in your dining room. All right, hope you loved it, got inspired, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.